Well, thanks for joining us today on Southeast Texas Live. I'm Nicole Murray. Well, we kind of know what the weather's going to look like or what it's shaping up to be. And now we're going to find out about the different events that are going to be going on, whether we're inside or outside. Shelly Batanza joins us with a look at what's going on in Southeast Texas. Good to see you. Good to see you. Awesome. Lots of great things going on in Southeast sure Texas, is. as usual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spring's a great time to, to get out and enjoy a lot of different things. Yeah, have some fun. All right, so Wednesday this week, it's Children's Story Time at the Lumberton Public Library, and that's mm. at 1130. So you can take munchkins over there and enjoy that. Okay. On Wednesday night, I think you're going to talk about this. Yes, Karen um, Chapman. I saw Karen here. Chapman. Mm -hmm. She's going to tell you about the Purse Museum, Women, History, Purses, and Art. Always doing fun things over there okay. and free. And then the United States Army Field Band is offering a free concert at the Julie Rogers. And, of course, they've played all over the world. So that is going to be awesome. And you said our favorite four-letter word. You said free? Free. Nice. Favorite four-letter word. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> and and, and world-class entertainment. Uh -huh. I mean, you don't get that all the time. Um, corrective, uh, Creative Corrections uh, Education Foundation is having their fundraiser. This is an, an amazing foundation sure in our area. They provide school, they provide scholarships for children of incarcerated parents. Yeah. And really changing the course of history for these kids. And so their event is at 630 at the event center in uh, downtown Beaumont. If you get a chance, go to that at $75 and for an amazing cause. Yeah, so it, it really is. Really, it really encourage is. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Steel Magnolias, I think you're uh, have Love probably it. talked about that. I ran into someone who saw it this weekend. I hope to see it the last weekend it's here. Uh -huh. But I ran into someone and they said they're going to go back and see it again. Because it's it was that good. So good. And wow. of course, this is a Beaumont Community Players production at the Betty Greenberg Center for yes. Performing Arts. My colors are plush and bashful. That's My right. My colors are pink and pink. Okay, I know. Yeah. Still might know you. It's, and we I'm know, sure they we do know an awesome all the lines. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's fabulous. So. I'm cry. Now, on Saturday, mm -hmm. April 15th, coming up this Saturday, of course, it's Easter weekend, so we're going to talk about Easter egg hunts. But in the morning at 8 30 on Saturday the 15th, tea budding and pecan grafting workshop okay. at the Texas A&M mm -hmm. um, Extension um, office there, auditorium. And then we get into the Easter egg hunts. This is what you need to know about. Yeah, exactly. If you, if you've got an Easter egg ones. hunter, that's right. And I'm sure bunnies are going to be at all of them. Mm -hmm. So 9 a.m. in Nederland, the 15th annual Easter Fest at the okay. Dornbos um, Park there, Heritage Park. And then at the St. Mark's uh, Episcopal Church downtown. Yes. They'll have theirs under the Oaks. 2,800 eggs, I heard. Something crazy. <laughs> wow. Uh, 11 a.m. Okay. And then the John Jay French House at 1 and so you can, uh, and I understand the bunny is to make his way to all of those events. Okay. And really he can. I mean, 9, uh -huh. 11, and 1, plenty of time for him to rotate and hit all those events. Yeah, and say yeah. hello to everybody. That's right. All right, Shelly, we appreciate it as always. Sure. Thanks so much. All right, well, coming up on Southeast Texas Live, as Shelly was just talking about the ladies in handbags slash fashion at the McFadden Ward House. Details after the break. Southeast Texas Live on Fox 4 with Nicole Murray. This is Southeast Texas Live. We are all about fashion on Mondays on Southeast Texas Live. And the McFadden Ward House is talking handbags. And here with the details is Karen Chapman. Good to see you. It is so nice to see you. Thanks for I having know. us. <laughs> okay, first off, we're showing off a purse. We're showing off a purse. And I don't think this is what this lady's going to be talking about <laughs> okay. on Thursday. But what we're doing is we have uh, monthly lectures. Mm -hmm. They are free and open to the public. Okay. And I must say they're they're really unusual lectures. We try to make them fun and interesting. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And this one we found. Did you know that there is a purse museum? I had no idea. It, it's just one of three. And the owner of this purse museum is coming here from Arkansas mm -hmm. to talk about purses and women who carry them, the history of them. Oh, the history, wow. Yeah, uh -huh. but she's a personal collector Ooh. of purses. Okay. I mean, this is probably not a good example because it's my own personal handbag and it's <laughs> nothing exciting at all. But um, her name is Anita Davis and she has been collecting purses more than 2,000 for years. Wow. And it was just some, a kind of a fun hobby she said for her and then she turned it into a museum and she had so many like a collection she turned it into a museum that is that's really cool because i mean i have my own little museum at home but 
I have like that really? purse that you retire, but you never clean out. Oh, sure. You know, yeah, yeah, I've got like yeah. 20 of those, yeah. No, she, so. like you would collect antiques yeah. or collect thimbles or whatever it is you do, she collects. She probably has an eye for it, like this one's worth something. You she know, does, like, mm. she does, and she said that um, she she loves the unusual whimsical ones. Those mm. are her favorites, so naturally this prop is just not <laughs> very exciting at all, but we wanted to use it. Exactly. And, yeah, but she said that she, she had so many of them uh -huh. that she pulled in um, museum experts and talked over the idea of creating a museum. And they at first kind of said, I eh, don't know if that's going to work. And yeah. she said it first became a traveling exhibit Maybe. and she's just highly sought after and it has become a bit just incredibly popular. Yeah, and she's making a living off of her hobby that right. she has, uh, that which is she awesome has. and amazing. Good for her. Yeah. Well, I'd love to hear her story. So you said she's going to be here, what, Thursday? She'll be here Thursday okay. at the McFadden Ward House Visitor Center. Mm -hmm. We're over there at 1906 Calder. Do you uh -huh. know that's the year the house was built? Okay. So our nice phone numbers and all that are at 1906. Uh -huh. And it's um, the doors open at 6. Okay. Um, the, her lecture starts at 6.30, and then we have a, uh, a reception after. But I tell you, from the response we're getting on Facebook, I think it's going to be really popular. Yes. Because we so all too. have these little, um, you know, we, we love our little purses, yeah, and they're sure part do. of us. And so I urge people to get there early, the, uh -huh. you know, even if you have to stand in line, because it's free. And you know what, they're rocking me, but I just have to say one more thing, and yeah. that's that you oh, are yeah. part of the Still Magnolias cast. I am. How are things going? Things are, we had our opening night, they're fabulous. Awesome. I'm Clary, come, come, don't say anything nice about it, but you come sit by me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> for bringing it up. Absolutely, let's do all the little gossiping. It's Love right. that. All right, Thank we appreciate you. it. And I understand you're doing a marvelous job. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, coming up on Southeast Texas Live, more fashion. Your Makeover Monday is next.